Hi, I'm Shervin. I'm 11 years old. I was born in Boston, Massachusetts, but my parents are born in Iran. Alright, uh, what are some things about your culture that are different than the American culture? Well, we have like really big families. We all stay together. All right. We get together a lot. Uh, what's your favorite food or Persian food? My favorite Persian food is definitely kebab. Kebab? What's kebab? Like, what's it? It's like long skewer of steak. <laughs> All right. Uh, what's some misconceptions about your culture? Well, a lot of people think we're terrorists, but we're not because just because we're in the Middle East. And after the movie 300, a lot of people thought we were one-eyed Cyclops monsters, <laughs> but we're not. I have two eyes. All right. Uh, all right. That's it. All right. So, where were you born? And what made you want to come to America? Just because of the, my kids, they have a lot of opportunity for here after revolution. And how is your culture different from American culture? Uh, it's, it's just a little difficult, I can't tell, but uh, for the New Year we have is a different uh, and uh, for uh, between the I, I cannot explain the what's the difference but the, this is the only I can tell is uh, uh, for the New Year's because we have a Persian New Year and uh, we have a very nice celebrate it's the same you have for the Christmas or whatever and uh, uh, we are more family with our country and uh, we respect about our uh, for the old people, parents. This is, uh, this is very important for me because I have kids too. Yeah. That's why. And what languages do you speak at home? Farsi. But my kids, they grow in here. I mean, but we speak Farsi together. How important is it to keep yourself and your children fluent? I'm sorry? How important is it to keep yourself and your children fluent in the language? In For Farsi? what? In, in Farsi, like how important is it to keep you and your children fluent? Actually, this is a for our culture, so they have to know the, the language we use usually because this is for the background we have to speak Farsi too. So that's why they grow in here and uh, they go in school, but it's very important for me they learn Farsi too. It's the same another country they move in here. And how important is education? Oh, it's, it's a lot. 
for me is, uh, I mean, for everything. What is the biggest misconception people have with your culture? <laughs> um, what holidays do you celebrate? What holiday? Yeah, what holidays do you celebrate? What holiday we have a celebrate in, in here? In like in Iran or in here? In Iran. In Iran, yeah. uh, the celebrate only we have uh, more important for the news, and we have the same in here. The first of the twenty-first uh, of the uh, March. The first day of the spring, right? We start the spring, so we have a celebrate over there, and for the this is very important. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Sova Salehi, and I'm Nick's mom. I'm 49 years old. <laughs> okay, uh, how long have you been in this country? Uh, I've been here since nine, eight, 19. 1980, so it makes it 32 years. How long have you been in San Diego for? I've been here for 20, 21 years now. Did you travel alone or with family members? Uh, before I get married or? Uh, when you came over? I came here with my, with my family, with my parents. Um, do you believe you'll stay in America? Oh yeah, this is my, this is my country now. Uh, was it difficult to leave your home? Uh, I was forced to leave, so I, I uh, left to Europe on a vacation, and I never went back. So, at that point, it was hard to think that I'm going to stay. Mm -hmm. um, what hopes do you have for yourself, your family, and your children, like in America? Uh, my hopes that I'll be, a, you know, a good uh, contribution. I, you know, with my family, we can make life a better place for us and other people that are around us. Um, what language do you speak at home? Um, I, we speak mixed. We, uh, I speak half Farsi and half English, but mainly we speak English at home. Mm -hmm. uh, is it important for your children to also speak Farsi? I think it's important for my children to at least speak one other language mm -hmm. because if you speak another language, it makes you another person mm -hmm. and you can communicate better with other people. Okay. Um, are there any common misconceptions uh, that like Americans have of uh, the Persian culture? Uh, unfortunately, it is because mm, people see Persian culture as Persian government. So Persian government is not what Persian people are. And I, I hope one day people can learn about the culture. It's one of the oldest cultures in, in the world. So uh, it's very different what we do and who we are than what the government is in Iran in the past 30 years. Right. Um, okay, here we go. No. This is Gaz, it's like a Persian cookie, like pistachio and stuff, and chai tea. It's Persian. Hi, I'm Tanya, and I'm Nick's sister, and I'm 18 years old. Alright. Where were you born? I was born here in San Diego. All right. Um, what language do you speak? Um, I speak English and sometimes I speak Farsi too. When do you normally speak Farsi? Um, well, usually at home, sometimes with my parents, or if I don't want something that other people should know, then I speak it to okay. like my friends, okay. if they know how to speak Farsi. All right. Um. What are the benefits of being multilingual? <laughs> um, I think it's really good to be multilingual because um, you can see, um, you can like experience and yeah. like communicate with different people and um, we're. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm still going. Okay, keep ne next, next question. question. Yeah. What is the biggest mis misconception people have about your culture? Um, the biggest misconception is probably that we think most people think that Persians are not typically the best, and they relate it to terrorism, which is not always true. Okay. What is your favorite food? 
Um, my favorite food is probably uh, kebabs, which are the long, they're like skewers of meat. <laughs> Stop. Alright. And they're like, they're made on the barbecue, or like this thing of fire, and then... Okay. <laughs> what is the most important thing about you, your culture, that you would want me to tell my classmates? Um... The most important thing is probably that you should eat the food. It's really good. And <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important thing about your culture? <laughs> no, there's more. Um, probably like... How would just, you just reset? Just... Everything in our culture is... Pretty... Um... Like, we like respect, so our family is... Very family-oriented? Yeah, very family-oriented, and we like respecting our elders and our family. Okay. All right, cool. It's, like, right on me. <laughs> How is your culture different than American culture? Um, like I said, we're very, very family-oriented, and we like to have... A strong family base. Okay. Cool. I think we're done. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>